Here is an important announcement. We've decided to found a church on this website because we believe that even if we save just one solitary soul from eternal torment, then the founding of this church will have been worthwhile, especially as it gives us huge tax advantages. Now, we're going to call ourselves the Church of J.C. Capitalist, because here in the United States of America, Christian teaching is, of course, the cornerstone of the capitalist system. Televangelists, in particular, setting a fine example to us all in the accumulation of great personal wealth and illustrating the worldly rewards that real faith can bring us if we are truly humble and have good marketing skills. Now, people have said to me quite critically that Christ spoke a lot about the poor. So, what is our church doing about them? Well, as Christ himself so rightly said, blessed are the poor. So they're all right, they will get their reward in heaven, no need to worry about them. Now, the Church of J.C. Capitalist is founded on two sacred principles. One, our focus groups tell us to target very anxious people with weak egos who are desperate for certainty. So this church will be very authoritarian, telling our members exactly what to think and to do. And we guarantee to make them positively glow with self-confidence because anyone at all who disagrees with us will go to hell and be tortured with red-hot pointy things forever and ever. Amen. And the second principle is morals are only about sex. So, send money now. Inquire about different levels of membership. And remember, a one-time gift of $10,000 guarantees you entry into heaven with one special guest of your own choice plus a beautiful frame certificate to that effect signed by me join now i would like you if you would to look closely for a moment at this picture it is a photograph of only a few out of millions of souls in torment it was taken several hundred years ago. <laughs> These poor people have not been tormented since because of lack of funds. <laughs> you know, hell is a purely voluntary organization. <laughs> There's no state aid, no insurance scheme, no grant even from UNICEF. <laughs> now look at this picture. Heartrending, isn't it? These witches of Salem have to be roasted alive on less fuel per year than you'll probably use in one day in the warmth and comfort of your own life. <laughs> what can you do to help? Well, ten shillings will maintain a wreck for two weeks. <laughs> Only five pounds will assure eternal fire for one sinner for six months. Life's not much fun down here, you know, in the bottomless pit. We're not doing a popular job. We get a lot of opposition from the press. <laughs> and still some from the church. You will find our address in your copy of the Radio Times this week. Would you help us? Please?